fresh off of a Super Bowl victory and trading for Coney Ely, the New England Patriots are back at it again, making another gigantic splash in free agency by trading their first and third round picks to the New Orleans Saints for their wide receiver Brandon Cooks that they drafted years ago. Now, Brandon Cooks is known for being a speed demon and that's not all the Patriots are getting. They're also getting the Saints fourth round pick. Now, this has led to a gigantic frenzy on social media because first things first, if you look at this roster on the defensive end and the offensive end, the New England Patriots are looking stacked. In a matter of two days, they were able to add Coney Ely, they added Stephon Gilmore, and right now, it seems like they fleeced the New Orleans Saints into trading Brandon Cooks to them. Now, this could be partially because the New Orleans Saints do not want to pay Brandon Cooks. Maybe they don't believe in his talent, or maybe they just want to go in a completely different direction. All I know is now the New England Patriots have quite a bit of a log jam up at the wide receiver position. Well, not including Gronk. Here we go. Here's who they have. They got Julian Edelman, Chris Hogan, James White, Deion Lewis, Dwayne Allen, and now Brandon Cooks. All those players are going to need the ball in their hands. Now, the question you may want to ask if you're a bit of a skeptic and if you want to calm yourself down about the overpowered New England Patriots is, can this blow up in their face? Well, all we know is on both sides, this seems to be a low risk, high reward deal for both of them. The New Orleans Saints don't have to commit to Brandon Cooks. And meanwhile, the New England Patriots, yes, they did have to give up a first round pick, but they may have found a wide receiver, a deep threat, their first deep threat for D uh, Tom Brady since Randy Moss. And now by no means am I comparing Brandon Cooks to Randy Moss, but this guy's got wheels. Earlier on in the free agency, period the new the new england patriots were connected to deshaun jackson saying that they had a ton of interest in a vertical threat like deshaun jackson now as we know deshaun jackson went ahead and signed with the tampa bay buccaneers which makes this deal perfect if you're a New England Patriots fan. Now, of course, there are some New Orleans Saints fans that are in denial about this trade, saying that they actually fleeced the New England Patriots. So I'm gonna leave that up to you guys. Who do you think won the trade? Do you think it was a good trade for both sides? And if one side made a gigantic mistake, what side do you think made that gigantic mistake? For more NFL news, be sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, all of my social media links are in the description down below.